One Piece Chapter 1062 Konnichiwa minasan Finally, finally, finally we're close to the chapter Let's get started Roger was at that time Yes, you know what's coming, right? Before I start the video, make sure to hit the like button. Smash the like button, please. Smash the like button so we can hit. I don't know, I mean, yeah, we have finally 2,000 subscribers and we just destroyed the new milestone. So just smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell, and share this video to your friends, share it to everybody you know that who might be interested in our content. So let's get quick into the video. Alright, this is just gonna be a discussion between me and you guys about the new chapter and our expectations. So to be honest guys, I really wanted to make some streams about like certain stuff. I wanna like discuss with you anything about the chapter, our expectations, predictions, anything. I really really wanna do some streams, I don't know if it's on YouTube here or in Twitch. I don't know, but I really really thinking of doing it, so just, I don't know, just excite me and just, I don't know, support me to that. And I'm learning, alright, I'm learning to do these stuff and I'm still new, so I just, Everything I do, I'm just learning with it, okay? So every day for me is like, is really a new day of learning and new information and I really just get a new experiment, okay? And I can get expert day by day, but I'm really, really a beginner right now, so let's get deep in our main topic, which is our expectations for the upcoming chapter, okay? Our expectations, all right. In my opinion, okay, right now, I feel like there is no way Ichiro Oda can go outside of this straw hat, okay? In the previous chapters, I used to say in the previous chapters that Ichiro Oda Sensei, like, can do, like, cannot do boring stuff, like, cannot do something that will not get us interested in, okay? Because if we get into the straw hats, there was something like, oh, alright, Jolly Riboni, the bounties, blah blah blah, and outside of the straw hats, everything is just fire, everything is just on fire, okay? So, Blackbeard, Bohanka, Rayleigh, Shanks, Akaino, Aokiji, Imusama, of course, Sabu, Dragon, the Revolutionary Army, everything, is on fire and everything is just messed up okay but right now unfortunately i think because i'm right um i mean we now are used to Oda Sensei, okay we know the style of Oda Sensei, and we know the way he writes one piece okay now we learn how Oda Sensei writes his story and now we know that we are now getting deep in our new arc okay which is the egghead arc or the egghead island or vegabank arc call it whatever you want to call it okay so i think we will not be able to go outside of the straw hats outside of the egghead island outside of everything related to probably if i can say outside of the straw hats it might be vegapunk okay but he is inside of the egghead if he is but it's a vegapunk related thing okay so we're not going out of straw hats vegapunk jewelry bony the egghead island in specific okay so unfortunately i think we will not see Dragon, the Revolutionary Army, Sabu, Imu, Samo, what happened there, Teach, what happened to, so uh, not Sabu, what happened to Kobe, is Garb is gonna like, make his movement right now, will Singoku be with them, Aokiji, what the fuck is he doing right now, is he like, with Teach, what is going on outside of our straw hats, okay, I think the next chapter, we're not gonna see, okay. And by the way, I don't read spoilers. I don't, I just don't read spoilers. I don't like reading spoilers. It's, it's like, it, it's, it's name, okay? It's spoilers, so I don't enjoy spoilers, so I enjoy the chat, okay? So I really don't know anything about what's gonna happen in the chapter. There is only one thing that might happen, which is gonna be like outside of the egghead, which is... In my opinion, I feel like if if we are gonna see flashback of Zoro, yes, flashback of Zoro, you're asking why, right? Not flashback that you're in, in your head right now, which is Queen now when he was a little kid, no, no, no. 
flashback of Zoro where he was in Wano and remember guys when he fought a uh, killer and then they took from him the Shisoi and he take Emma he promised that he gonna see with them Ryuma's great okay he promised them that he gonna or he will let them see that Ryuma's grave is empty and Ryuma's not there he is in Thriller Park or let's say with Gekomoria, okay? This is probably gonna be the only thing outside of Egghead we're gonna win in the next chapter because a lot of people are questioning what are the swords that Zoro got outside of Wano with? What is it like Shisoi? Is Enma still with them? Although in chapter 59 when he cut it, it was it was probably Enma, okay? It was like, it has the same shape as Enma, so it might be Enma, okay? But a lot of people are still questioning, and in my opinion, not in my opinion, I mean, I feel like I want Zoro to get, to get out of Wano with Shisoi because it's a Shimotsuki thing! It's a legacy of the Shimotsuki family, it's a legacy! And, and Zoro is one of the ancestors of Ryuma, so he deserves it. He deserves to have Shisoi. But I don't know, so in my opinion, I feel like we might see the flashback of Zoro, where we know that he might decide to let just to let just Shisoi there in Wano out of respect for Ryuma. And he might just put it in his grave or something, because it's like a legacy of Wano and of of Shimotsuki family and of everything, okay? So, so is it Shisoi? Is it Enma? Is it Nidaikitetsu? Or Wado Chimunji? I think, uh, yeah, I think the name is Wado Chimunji, sorry. Wado Ichimunji, sorry. Okay, so, I think it's gonna be the same swords, which is Emma and Nidaikitetsu and Sandaikitetsu, uh, I think their name is, which is Queen's sword and the cursed sword, which he took it from Lockdown, and Emma. But, I really, really hope so that he takes Shisoi. That's at least that's my opinion. I really wish so, okay? So, that's my predictions. And we might just, you know, the introductions of every arc when we get into the island and we're just, okay, what the fuck is that? How is that village works? How is it like snow, but at the same time, it's hot? You know, the, these words things, okay? These words stuff. Okay, we might see it. We might just see a, a robot lamp, which is gonna be like introduces us to the island, and yeah, it's a lamp. Okay, but it's robot, so it, it's able to talk. It can talk, so you get it, right? We might see like some weird robots, a uh, lamp robot, mm, room robot. Um, you get it, okay? Snacks, snack robot. It's weird stuff, like we saw in in the whole cake island. Everything's just alive, everything can talk, everything got a soul. So we might just see some some of Vegapunk's weird stuff, weird robots, weird discoveries. You get it, okay. So yes, that was at least my opinion in how the next chapter is gonna be and I uh, yeah yeah I think that's it. I think that's how, that's how the next chapter is gonna be, and like I said, I don't read spoilers, so I really don't know anything, and I wish so that some of the spoilers are like, Teach in it, uh, Rayleigh, Sabu, Dragon, Emu in it, I really wish so, but I think it's not gonna happen, okay, it's not gonna happen, at least in the next chapter and two, because it's the introduction for the new island, so I think... Oda Sensei just loves to introduce us to the new islands, just loves the creativity in it, just loves everything related to it. And just like when he said, I think in one of his interviews, his favorite, his three favorite moments in One Piece, and one of them was, I think, chapter 900, 903, okay, 903, which is Wano's introduction. So, just like I said, Oda Sensei loves the introductions of the, of the islands, and just loves the arrival of the straw hats there. He loves everything to just productions there. And so that's at least my opinion. And what matters is yours. So just like I said, write down in the comment section down below your thoughts and your expectations for the new chapter. And if you read until there, this is it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share this video to your friends and family and everybody on this planet. Thank you guys. Until next time, see ya!